All right, what is up, guys? Nene4 here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, we're going to be talking about Joker Fole Etu, or just simply Joker 2. It's probably what I'm going to call it for the rest of this review. <laughs> I, I believe most people probably will. But, um, look, man, I typically say sometimes critics can be a bit rough on movies, and I typically say go watch it for yourself. Go base your own thoughts and opinions on it. But this is a pretty jarring movie, but in such a strange way. <laughs> because you get the first movie, got great reviews, over a billion dollars at the box office, successful movie. Then you get this one, bombing at the box office. Not even underperforming, just bombing. And then the reviews are awful. So it just, it's such a fall from grace. It really makes you think, like, what went wrong? <laughs> and I've seen most people, they're criticizing it because they're like, why is it a musical? Like, why? The first movie wasn't a musical. Why is the sequel a musical? Um, I, I genuinely don't know. And I, I'm seeing lots of people say, oh, if you don't like musicals, then just say that. Like, don't hate on the movie just because you hate musicals. And I love musicals, you know. Um, Grease is a classic. I can sing every song on that uh, movie. I know all the uh, tracks and everything. Classic movie. Um, I grew up, I was watching Disney Channel growing up. Half of those movies were musicals, and I loved them. But I don't know. I think those movies were just memorable. Those movies had memorable songs to them. This one, not so much. And it really makes you think, like, Maybe it's because Lady Gaga was in the movie as Harley that they decided, hmm, let's do music. Let's make this movie partially a musical. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's definitely interesting. And the reason I say it's interesting is because the overall consensus from this movie is, yeah, it's bad. Or the reviews are just negative from critics and audiences. And it kind of reminds me of the movie Nope that came out a couple years ago. I believe Jordan Peele directed it. And the overall consensus was just like, what? Like, question mark? Like, I don't get it. I'm confused. <laughs> like, what, like, what just happened? And most people were just very confused by the movie, by some of the decisions made in the movie. And then there were some people who was like, no, the movie made perfect sense as long as you paid attention. Or, no, you're just dumb. Like, just watch the movie. It makes perfect sense. And that seems to be what's happening with this movie. A lot of people are just like, why did they decide to do that? What made them do that? That makes no sense to me. That's so stupid. Whereas other people are just like, no, it's a, it's a mental thing, you know? Just pay attention, you know? Just follow the story. It makes sense. Um, but it, it definitely does make some decisions that are interesting. Like I said, the movie has ideas. They're just not executed the best. And I've seen people saying, like, oh, the movie has no plot whatsoever. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think there is a plot, but not much of one. Not one that this movie needed to be as long as it was. <laughs> like I said, it has the elements, it has the ideas, but it just didn't execute it well. And, you know, you want to defend this movie, but then, like, even the director himself can just come out and say, yeah, I'm done with the DC Universe. <laughs> Like, he didn't say, yep, I had a blast making this movie. I had an amazing time working on this movie, but I'm done. He just simply said, I'm done. No more. That That's actually nuts to me. Because in Hollywood, you know, if a movie does well, makes great money at the box office, gets great reviews, that lets them know, okay, people want to see a second one. Let's do it again. And maybe the director, maybe he got forced into doing it. I don't know if it was just... He was rushed into production or the studio just said, hey, the first movie did well. Let's do another one. Uh, you got this amount of time. You get this amount of money. Let's do it. Um, and it's it's a common thing in Hollywood, you know, like Iron Man, great reviews, great money at the box office. Marvel said Iron Man 2. Let's go. John Favreau has even come on and said, you know, like, eh, it's not the movie I wanted to make. You know, like it's, it's kind of rushed. Wasn't really what I envisioned. Uh, same thing with, like, Scary Movie 2, if you've seen it. Um, they have come out and said, you know, like, ah, the second one was very rushed. The studio greenlit that one as soon as, like, the first one started to do numbers. So it, it's a common thing in Hollywood. It happens all the time. Um, 
So that's why in Hollywood you typically see like, oh man, like this week the sequel isn't as good as the first one, or oh man, this one exceeds the first one. You know, it's it depends on time, money, and just overall the vibe of it, really. Well, like I said, like this movie, it does have a plot, just not much of one. Uh, the movie definitely did not need to be as long as it was, and um, the musical numbers. Look, I love Lady Gaga as much as the next guy. I do think in terms of, like, um, women artists in the industry, she is probably the best actress-wise. She's definitely up there. She's definitely one of the best, if not the best, like, compared to, like, people like uh, uh, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, along those lines. She's definitely amongst the best. Um, And she doesn't necessarily do anything wrong in this movie it's just her character doesn't get much to do <laughs> you know um i i like her for what it is she's definitely not the best harley quinn ever uh but like i said it's just the movie doesn't do much with the character it's like hey let's put harley quinn in there okay harley quinn lady gaga musical like it's just such a it's such a unique movie, you know, like there are things I like about it. I like like the scenes in the uh, courtroom. I like that it touches on like mental health and mental illness and stuff like that. But it also makes some really interesting decisions. That's just like, hmm, like, I don't know how to feel about this. So that's why I'm like, I wanted to like this movie. I want to defend it, but it's very hard to do. (laughs) Now, look, is it the worst movie I've ever seen? No, but it might just be the most disappointing movie of the year, you know, for anyone who liked the first one. Um, in my opinion, I thought the first movie was a bit overrated, a bit overhyped. I mean, I still like it, but it's not like, oh my god, Joker is on, let's watch Joker. I'm never going to be craving to watch the Joker movie. Um, but it is a pretty disappointing sequel. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's that the director just simply didn't want to make this movie, or it's just not how the director envisioned um, I do think it would benefit from like a director's cut, maybe. Personally, I'd I'd watch it if it has improvements. But if I had to rank this movie, I, I didn't really care for it too much. I'm not gonna go back and rewatch it anytime soon. <laughs> Probably like a five out of ten. Honestly, it doesn't do too much for me. It's visually good looking, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I'm in a four and I am out. Peace.